So let me do a demo of Microsoft Copilot. We're going to ask him to craft a marketing plan for me. We're going to ask HR best practices and we're going to ask it to draft a contract. All you need to do is actually log in with your Microsoft account. So this is the prompt. I prepared this yesterday. Could you create a marketing plan? It gives me a marketing plan outline. So this is a really bad prompt because it is not specific. It is too general. So the first thing you might want to learn when using the AI tool is that you need to be specific. So here we go. What I said to Copilot is boom, this prompt. I said, could you create a marketing plan for me? That's the goal. That's actually the same thing I just wrote to it. And then I added some context here. I work in a video game company. Could you adapt the marketing plan? I would love to have six very detailed steps and that you adapt the language for a company in the entertaining space. And then I have the expectation here. We will present the plan to an executive team. So it has to be sharp. So here we go. Copilot tells me here's a six tailor step plan for your video game company. And it added a few video game really specific words here. So use data analytics to understand the player behavior and preference. Right here, it gave me an objective. So establish a unique identity within the gaming industry. And on the step tree, it talked about the game genres, platforms, PC, etc. So that's pretty cool. Now that we added context, now that we know how to prompt, you can let your imagination flow. But I just want to remember that this is a bad prompt and this is actually a way better prompt. Give context to Copilot. All right. The second example is actually the HR example. So I just wanted to put myself into the skin of someone that gets into an HR company. It's a small company and he has no one to brainstorm with. You go into copilot.microsoft.com and this guy, microsoft.copilot.com, it learned a lot about human resources via his LLM, via everything is available on the internet. So I just prompt copilot once again with the same formula. I am a rookie in human resource management. I just got a new job and they asked me to implement the new best practices in terms of HR. So I just asked Copilot, can you help me with the first five things I will need to put in place? And here, I don't want to go through the details here, but it gave me five steps or five things. As I asked him first, bring the proactive workforce planning, second, the streamline recruitment and selection process. So a few things that I have to put in place and I could have kept prompting and ask him, could you tell me more about the first step? Here is my specific situation and give me ideas on how to implement it. And what I love with Copilot compared to ChatGPT is that it says it sources. So at the bottom here, it tells me learn more and it gave me five article where I can actually click and go to the actual articles and read more on this topic. So it basically did a summary of these websites. All right. So this was actually a real use case that I used a few days ago, because as you might know or might not know, I make videos for some companies. That's actually one service that I offer educational videos that I can host on your YouTube channel or my YouTube channel or wherever you want the videos. Anyway, so I asked Copilot, could you help me draft a contract? And then I gave it everything I needed to draft a contract. I'm a content creator. Here's my address. Uh, here's the contract object, etc. And I asked at the end, can you make sure you cover basic contract clauses such as deliverables, usage rights and payment terms? I'll review the rest. And of course, this doesn't replace a lawyer, but it can maybe save you a few hours of a lawyer and you know it costs a lot. So here we go. Copilot actually gave me this agreement. So as you can see, very, very summarized agreement, nine points. It gives me everything I need, I think, to get a good draft started out. I can copy and paste this to Word and keep going from there. But I didn't stop there and this is the beauty of AI. I knew that this contract was maybe a little bit too summarized, too short. So I asked Copilot, could you add way more to it so I'm sure I'm protected? And as you can see here, it actually 
divided this section tree between three bullet points and this compensation as well between three other bullet points so it gave me way more information way way more toro contract so that was actually amazing if you'd prefer to learn copilot in a more structured way i have a lot of courses available right here thank you and catch you soon